Imagine waking up in the middle of the night to sirens, knowing rockets are heading straight toward your city, but before they hit, a missile streaks across the sky and destroys them midair. This isn't science fiction, it's the real story of Israel's Iron Dome, one of the most advanced air defense systems in the world. Today, we're diving deep into how the Iron Dome saved Israel from rockets and changed modern warfare forever. Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today we're exploring one of the most fascinating defense technologies of our time, the Iron Dome. To understand why it exists, we need to go back to the early 2000s when Israel was facing a growing threat from short-range rockets and artillery shells launched by groups in neighboring territories. Civilians living in border towns like Stirot found themselves under frequent attack and traditional defenses weren't enough. The Israeli government realized that they needed a highly effective yet cost efficient solution that could protect large populations in real time. This led to the birth of the Iron Dom project, developed by Rafal Advanced Defense Systems with crucial funding from both Israel and the United States. Iron Dome was designed to intercept incoming threats before they could cause devastation on the ground. It wasn't easy. Engineers faced challenges of speed, accuracy, and cost. How do you shoot down a rocket moving faster than the speed of sound? How do you distinguish between rockets headed for populated areas and those falling in open fields? These questions shaped the system's development. By 2011, after years of testing and refinement, the Iron Dome was declared operational and almost immediately proved its worth in live combat situations. In this video, we're going to break down exactly how this system works, why it has been called a game changer, and the role it has played in protecting Israel from thousands of rocket attacks. To understand how the Iron Dome works, let's break it into simple parts. The system is made up of three main components radar, the battle management and control unit, and the interceptor missiles themselves. First, the radar system detects the launch of an incoming rocket. Within seconds, it calculates the rocket's speed, direction, and potential impact zone. This information is sent to the Battle Management Center, which uses advanced algorithms to predict whether the rocket will land in a populated area or harmlessly in open land. If the rocket is likely to cause damage, the system gives the green light to launch an interceptor this decision-making process happens in a matter of seconds, far faster than any human could react. Next comes the interceptor missile, known as Tamir. These missiles are small, agile, and equipped with advanced sensors. Once launched, the interceptor guides itself toward the incoming rocket and explodes nearby, destroying it in mid-air. The key here is precision. The Iron Dome doesn't try to intercept every single rocket, only those that pose real danger to civilians or infrastructure. This selective approach makes the system not only effective, but also cost efficient. Each interceptor costs tens of thousands of dollars, so wasting them on harmless projectiles would be unsustainable. By combining radar tracking, fast computing, and precision interceptors, Iron Dome creates a protective shield over Israeli cities. It's like an invisible umbrella that only opens when needed, giving civilians precious seconds to take shelter while their skies are defended. The first real test for Iron Dome came in 2011, just weeks after it became operational. A barrage of rockets was launched from Gaza targeting southern Israel, and for the first time in history, a system successfully intercepted them in mid-air. This was a turning point. Civilians who had once lived in constant fear of rocket attacks suddenly felt a new sense of safety. Families that had only seconds to rush to bomb shelters could now rely on technology that dramatically increased their chances of survival. Over the following years, Iron Dome became a regular feature in Israel's defense strategy. During major conflicts, such as Operation Pillar of Defense in 2012 and Operation Protective Edge in 2014, 
Iron Dome intercepted hundreds of rockets with reported success rates of around 85 to 90 percent. Imagine hundreds of lives saved, schools spared from destruction, and hospitals kept intact because of this system's accuracy. But beyond the physical protection, the psychological effect was just as significant. For years, rockets had been a tool of terror, meant to instill fear and disrupt daily life. Iron Dome changed that equation. While not perfect, it gave people confidence that they weren't helpless targets. International observers were equally impressed. Military experts from around the world began studying the system, recognizing that Israel had pioneered a new approach to air defense. What was once thought nearly impossible, shooting down rockets in real time, was now reality and it was changing the balance of power in the region. But what makes Iron Dome so unique compared to other air defense systems, one of its most impressive features is automation. Unlike traditional missile defenses that often require human decision, making Iron Dome operates almost entirely on its own. From the moment a rocket is detected to the second an interceptor is launched, the system handles everything. This automation is crucial because rockets fired at short range leave only seconds to react. Human operators wouldn't have time to analyze the situation and make decisions. By removing human delay, Iron Dome ensures maximum efficiency and accuracy. Another unique aspect is its mobility. The system is designed to be transportable with each battery consisting of a radar, command center, and launchers that can be relocated as threats change. This allows Israel to protect different regions based on intelligence and evolving dangers. The Iron Dome is also scalable. Multiple batteries can be deployed together to create a wider shield over large cities like Tel Aviv or Jerusalem. At the same time, smaller towns can be protected with fewer units. Additionally, the system's ability to prioritize which rockets to intercept saves enormous costs. Many critics initially argued that it would be too expensive to use, but by ignoring harmless rockets, the system preserves resources for the most critical threats. These innovations make Iron Dome not just a defensive weapon, but a symbol of how advanced technology can shift the dynamics of modern warfare. It has become a benchmark for countries seeking similar protection against rocket attacks. Of course, no system is perfect, and Iron Dome has faced its share of challenges and criticism. One major concern is the cost imbalance between interceptors and rockets. A single Tamir interceptor costs tens of thousands of dollars, while the rockets it destroys can cost only a few hundred. Critics argue that this creates a long-term sustainability problem as adversaries can launch large numbers of cheap rockets to overwhelm the system. Another challenge is saturation. While Iron Dome is highly effective, it has limits. If hundreds of rockets are launched simultaneously at different targets, the system may not be able to intercept them all. This has led to situations where some rockets slip through, causing casualties and damage. Additionally, Iron Dome doesn't cover all of Israel equally. Smaller towns and rural areas sometimes remain vulnerable if batteries are concentrated around major cities. Beyond technical limitations, there's also a political debate. Some argue that Iron Dome, while saving lives, may also reduce pressure for long-term solutions to the underlying conflict. By providing a defensive shield, it allows the status quo to continue without addressing the root causes of rocket fire. Yet, despite these challenges, Iron Dome remains an essential part of Israel's defense. No country would willingly give up a system that protects its citizens so effectively. In fact, ongoing upgrades are continually improving its performance. Engineers are working on making interceptors cheaper, faster, and more versatile against emerging threats like drones and, and cruise missiles. The impact of Iron Dome goes beyond Israel's borders. Countries around the world have taken notice of this revolutionary system, and several are looking to adopt similar technologies. 
The United States has been a major partner in its development, providing funding and technical collaboration. In fact, the U.S. Army has even purchased Iron Dome batteries for its own testing with the goal of defending against short-range missile threats. Other countries such as India, South Korea, and members of NATO have studied Iron Dome as a model for their own air defense needs. What makes it appealing is its proven track record in real combat scenarios, something many defense systems cannot claim. Beyond military interest, Iron Dome has influenced global discussions about the future of urban defense. As conflicts shift from traditional battlefields to populated areas, the need to protect civilians from rockets and drones is greater than ever. Israel's success has set a precedent for how advanced technology can minimize civilian casualties even in ongoing conflicts. However, Exporting Iron Dome isn't straightforward. The system is closely tied to Israel's unique security environment, and not all countries face the same threats. Additionally, sensitive technology transfer issues mean that only trusted allies can expect access. Still, the influence is undeniable. Iron Dome has become not just a defense tool, but a case study in innovation, resilience, and the intersection of technology with geopolitics. It represents a shift in how nations think about protecting cities in the 21st century. One of the most striking aspects of Iron Dome is the way it has changed life for ordinary Israelis. Before its deployment, rocket attacks caused mass disruption. With schools closing, businesses shutting down, and families living in constant fear. Today, while the threat of rockets has not disappeared, the level of security is far higher. Parents can send their children to school with more confidence. People can go to work and maintain daily routines, knowing that Iron Dome offers a safety net. It doesn't eliminate the stress entirely, but it drastically reduces the sense of helplessness that once dominated. The system has also influenced Israel's military strategy. With Iron Dome in place, the government has more flexibility in deciding how to respond to attacks. It buys time, allowing leaders to make calculated decisions rather than reacting in panic. However, this psychological comfort is a double-edged sword. Some critics say that reliance on Iron Dome may make the population complacent, masking the ongoing conflict beneath a sense of technological security. Still, for civilians, the immediate reality is simple Iron Dome saves lives. And saving lives is always the first priority. There are countless personal stories of near misses where families were spared because of a successful interception. These moments reinforce the idea that technology, when used wisely, can make a tangible difference in people's lives. For Israel, a small country surrounded by threats, Iron Dome has become more than just a weapon. It's a shield of hope. As effective as Iron Dome is, it's only one part of a broader defense strategy. Israel also relies on systems like David's Sling and the Aero Program to intercept medium and long-range missiles. Together, these layers form a comprehensive missile defense network designed to counter threats at every altitude and distance. Iron Dome is the first line of defense focused on short-range rockets up to about 70 kilometers. But modern warfare is constantly evolving. Adversaries are developing new tactics from drone swarms to precision guided missiles. This means Iron Dome must continually adapt. Rafael and the Israeli Defense Forces have been working on upgrades, including interceptors capable of targeting drones and integrating Iron Dome with other defense systems for better coordination. Another important development is the idea of laser-based interception. Israel is investing in directed energy weapons that could one day complement Iron Dome. Unlike traditional interceptors, lasers have the advantage of virtually unlimited ammunition as long as there's power. This could help solve the cost imbalance by making interceptions far cheaper. Imagine a future where rockets and drones are neutralized at the speed of light. While these technologies are still in development, 
They highlight the constant evolution of defense strategies. Iron Dome may be the most visible shield today, but it's part of a much bigger picture. Israel knows that in order to stay secure, it must always stay one step ahead of the threats it faces. And Iron Dome is the foundation of that evolving shield. The story of Iron Dome is also a story of innovation under pressure. When Israel first considered the idea, many experts were skeptical. Shooting down fast, moving rockets at short range seemed nearly impossible. But Israeli engineers and scientists took on the challenge, motivated by the urgency of protecting lives. Their success is a testament to what can be achieved when necessity drives innovation. The development of Iron Dome was not just about technology, it was about resilience and determination. The project faced technical hurdles, financial struggles, and political debates. Yet through perseverance, it became a reality. Today, Iron Dome is celebrated as a symbol of Israeli ingenuity, often compared to other groundbreaking national projects like the startup boom or advances in cybersecurity. It shows how small nations facing existential threats can become leaders in global technology, but Iron Dome is also a reminder of the human side of conflict. Behind the statistics of intercepted rockets are real people, families who can sleep at night, children who can play outside, and communities that can rebuild after attacks. This human impact is what gives Iron Dome its true significance. It's not just about rockets and missiles, it's about preserving life and giving people a sense of normalcy in the face of ongoing threats. In this sense, Iron Dome represents more than military strength. It represents resilience, survival, and the value of human life in the modern age of warfare. So how has Iron Dome saved Israel from rockets? By combining advanced radar, rapid decision making, and precision interceptors, it has created a shield that protects millions of civilians from harm. Its success rate, often cited at 85 to 90%, is unprecedented in the world of missile defense. Beyond the numbers, it has transformed daily life in Israel, reducing fear and giving people the confidence to carry on despite ongoing threats. It has also reshaped military strategy allowing Israel to respond to attacks with more control and less urgency. Globally, it has inspired nations to rethink how cities and populations can be protected in an age where rockets and drones are common weapons. While challenges remain, cost saturation and political debates, Iron Dome's impact is undeniable. It stands as one of the most effective defense systems ever built, a blend of necessity, innovation, and determination. And perhaps most importantly, it is a reminder that even in times of conflict, technology can be harnessed to save lives rather than take them. As we look to the future, the legacy of Iron Dome will continue to influence defense strategies worldwide. But for Israel, it has already proven itself time and again as the guardian of its skies and its people. Thank you for watching. If you found this video informative, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more in-depth stories on defense, technology, and global security. And let us know in the comments what topic you'd like us to cover next.